how to stay on top of your cash flow as a small business owner. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video I'm speaking about how you can stay on top of your cash flow as a small business owner using a simple website called Wave Accounting. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description to where you can actually access this um, accounting software but I'm just going to give you a little glimpse into the software now just so that you can see how useful it actually is and um, kind of some of the things that you can do with it to help you with your cash flow in your business. So as you can see in my screen, it's got bar charts, which basically shows me the expenditure and the income um, that I've generated throughout each month. And the dark blue is my income. So if I actually click this, it goes away. Um, and if I click it again, it comes back. And the light blue is my expenses. So here it gives you a really nice snapshot of your business, you know, the financial side of your business or um, the way I like to do it is if I'm selling a particular product or a service, then I'll create a new wave account for that particular product or service. So I know how well that product is doing. Um, for example, you can see that the first month, the product um, just about breaks even. Then in the second month, it's in a profit. And um, you know, you can see here, that there's a big um there's a big sale you know the sales are really high in this month and then it goes down a little bit so if i wasn't able to see it on a bar chart like that then it might not be as apparent to me that you know my sales have decreased and i might not be able to go back and you know think you know why is my sales decreased what did i do last month that i didn't do this month or what happened this month to make my sales decrease so having these figures right in front of you is really really useful um, and i'm going to show you how easy it is to actually add um, your income and expenses uh, your expenses here into wave so literally you just click on where it says transactions and then you'll see where it says add income so you can add an income and next to it it says add expenses so you can basically just click that and as you can see it drops down a menu here so let's say for example there was an expense that occurred um, I can just describe the expense whatever it is let's say it's my rent and I put whatever my rent is um, say it's um, 300 pounds for that month and then I can add it to whatever it is so um, let's just put rent expenses here and then I can click um, this button and it will go and add itself to the bar chart for whatever month that I've added as you can see it says date here as well so whatever whatever uh, month I add it to, it will add it to the expenses of that date. And it's a similar process to adding an income, you'll just click the income. And the beautiful thing about Wave as well is you can actually connect a bank account to it. So if you didn't wanna have to go through this process all the time, you can connect a bank account to it and it will do most of this stuff for you automatically. Hopefully you can see how Wave Accounting can help you to stay on top of the cash flow for your business. If this video helps you out, then please click the like button down below. As I said, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description to Wave Account, so you can click that as well. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.